What's up guys, Hong here for OG Fitness. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about body fat percentage and uh, how I adjusted my diet during this uh, quarantine, okay? So for those of you guys who don't know, I'm 41 years old. Uh, I've been practicing martial arts my whole life. And my main thing right now is judo. Uh, so I've been doing about judo for about four or five years now and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu prior to that for about six years, right? So brown belt in Judo and uh, uh, blue belt in Jiu Jitsu, even though I did it for six years, uh, three years at one club, then I switched right before I was about to get my purple. And then after that, uh, at the other club, well, I don't, you know, when you go to a club, it's always, uh, it takes a little bit of time, right? Before, well, at the club where I was at, before they actually, uh, you know, decide to give you your belt and and where the school the second school that where I was at it was very um how do you say it? I, I felt as though the the instructor there really wanted you to prove yourself which was kind of uh which is understandable um but at the same time it kind of seemed as though if you don't compete it takes you a long time to prove yourself to him that you're worthy and then if you did compete well you'd have to win everything before he would give you your purple belt. And after that, it, it felt as though like, it, it, it was a question of loyalty and stuff like that, which I understand and everyone's different. So, uh, but I've been told that uh, by, my, by my own coach, my judo coach and my first coach, which, not, which I'm still friends with, um, that I'm at a, at, a, at a purple belt level. But officially, you know, no one ever gave me a purple belt. So that's why I always say blue, right? So, okay. Um, body fat percentage. Now, what I want to talk about is what you should actually go for, right? So now the less body fat you have, the better it is. But I mean, you don't have to go ridiculously low either. Okay, I think depending on where you're at now, 15% is what you should be at as a man. Okay, uh, as a woman, I'd suggest maybe about 20, you know, 20, 20%. Like the healthy zone for a woman is anywhere between 18 to, uh, to 24, 25, right? So if you get to 20, you're good. If you're a man, 15, right? Um, and here's an interesting thing. You guys know The Rock, okay? The Rock is actually at 15%, okay? And how do I know this? Well, the thing is I'm, a, I'm also a personal trainer and I work, I work with a lot of other guys who are really into bodybuilding, other trainers and stuff like that. And then so you get an eye when you when you when you start looking at into uh, bodybuilders and all that you develop an eye to see uh, okay what exactly is uh, this this body this level of ripness so to speak leanness how much percent body fat it is okay so the rock is actually at 15 percent so that's how you know right um, over time by comparing a lot of uh, body uh, you know bodybuilders on stage when they're stage ready because when those guys are on stage they're shredded they're shredded so that means uh, you know, that means they're like at anywhere between four and five percent, man. That's super low. That's super. That's for competition, like stage ready, you know. So those guys, they're not feeling good, man. They're, they're, you know, it's, it's, an, it's an extreme sport, bodybuilding, you know, when, especially when you get to, uh, to a level where you're, you're competing and stuff like that and you're, you're getting really good at it. I mean, man, those guys drop at four uh, percent, you know, four or five percent, some crazy shit like that. Now, you guys have to remember that that's extremely hard, okay? And when you look at their physiques, they're like sh shredded, okay? There's a difference between shredded and ripped and lean, okay? 15% you're lean, at 10% you're ripped, right? Anything under that, you know, it's still rip, rip, rip. But when you get to like 5%, Dude, that's shredded, like completely shredded. Like you, you can see the striations everywhere. It's, it's nuts on the back, on, on the calves, even on the hamstrings, the glutes, you, see, you know, and you, you got like lines all over the place, like you're peeled, you know? Um, so that's it. So The Rock is at 15%. And even though he has a lot of muscles and he doesn't carry a lot of fat on his arms and his shoulders and he's really big and stuff like that, but when you look at his abs, they're not like super like apparent, right? So he's at 15, so that's why when when I say 15% for men, I mean, you're gonna look really good at 15. Most people, I think, would be satisfied at 15. Now, of course, if you wanna get down to 10, 10 is where you see your abs very clearly, okay? It's not even a question of if you see the whole six pack, like you see it and in any lighting, right? So in the dark, uh, you know, in the light, uh, whatever, you know, um, 
you know, at different angles, doesn't matter. Your your like abs will be very apparent, right? And um, yeah, and after that, well, the lower you go, the more the more striations you're gonna see. And when you get bodybuilding, when you see them on stage, like the pros and all that, holy smokes, those guys are, and it's not sustainable anyway, right? So. Um, 15% is what I think is ideal for most people, right? And after that, uh, from there, you decide if you want to go lower or not. Right now, me, myself, I'm actually at, um, at, at I'd say about 10%, maybe 11, you know? And I'm not happy with that because I was at 8% about maybe, you know, about a month ago, right? When, 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 before, when this whole thing, when this quarantine didn't start yet, I was at, about, I, I was at like at 8, 9%. And I like that. I like that. I like being that. It's comfortable for me. I can maintain that easily, right? But uh, you know, the quarantine, like everybody, you're home, you're bored, you eat, you know, comfort food, and you know, you don't move as much. So, like, man, when I was working at the gym, I was moving all day long, man. You know, like lifting weights for people, uh, showing them exercises, lifting weights for myself. Well, not lifting for them, but I mean, you know, carrying the weights, walking around. I'm always standing up and moving around. So. Of course, I burn more calories. Then on top of that, I work out. Then on top of that, I didn't. Um, I ate like maybe three times a day. But I mean, you know, now I'm eating like uh, I start for the past month. I've been eating maybe about four or five times a day. But it's too much for my activity levels. So I actually blew, uh, went up to um, from eight. I went up to maybe ten percent. You know, and um, yeah. So I, I know my body. So now I have to make adjustments to my diet. So now instead of eating, um, you know four times, five times a day, okay? I'll still eat uh, four times a day, but I only have two main meals, okay? So breakfast is the most important thing for me, right? When you wake up, like, it's not just for me, but it's for pretty much everybody. Unless you're into fasting, that's a different story. It has other benefits, you know? But at the end of the day, it's calories in, calories out, right? Okay, after that, we could get into the minutia of it, which is, uh, okay, well, what kind of calories, you know? Is it better to have more proteins, more fats, more carbs and all that, okay? but that's for another talk, or maybe I'll touch on that a little bit later in the video. But what I want to say now is that he here's how I do it, okay? I have my breakfast, okay? I don't eat carbs anymore in my breakfast. I'm cutting that out, okay? So I'll have more, um, um, I'll have, uh, well, I do have a little bit of carbs in the form of vegetables, right? But it's, it's not that much, right? And of course, I'll have proteins. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So I got I get my proteins in in the morning, of course, my coffee and water. And and then after that, I'll have, uh, I'll have some veggies and some fiber and all kinds of mixed vegetables, right? And then from there, okay, uh, later on, let's say I eat at around eight o'clock, right? Or seven, depending on, on the time that I wake up. But I eat first thing in the morning when I wake up. Well, I jump in the shower, uh, take a cold shower and I alternate between hot and, and cold. Right, to wake myself up and I finish off with cold you know you're gonna see if ever you're you, you don't have coffee at your place <laughs> do that <laughs> you, you'll wake the hell up that's for sure so that's the first meal of the day okay it's proteins and uh, proteins and veggies right that's that's what I like to do and then from there I'll have a, little, a snack later on during the day so I'll have a, um, a little bit of uh, Greek yogurt organic Greek yogurt right add in uh, scoop of protein in there, voila, you know, so that, that'll be my like second time I eat, right? So you see, it's not really a meal, it's more like a snack, you know, because I want to get that protein in for my muscles, right? Because the ideal amount of uh, times you want to eat protein a day is five times a day. That's the best, right, for muscle gain. But now, um, if you can't eat five times a day, well, you know, listen, four is better than five, and three is definitely not as good as four, but it's still it's still good, okay? So, and there's reasons for that, but uh, I won't get into that right away. Um, so then after that, like around, um, so around noon, I'll have a snack again, and then from there, around maybe, maybe around, um, you know, then after that around, usually in the evening, right? Around six o'clock, seven o'clock, you know, between five and seven, I eat again. That's that's my evening, that's that's supper. And then after that, I have a little snack uh, right before bed. So that's like four times, you know? And the reason why I reduced it, uh, I, I adjusted like that is because I was eating maybe three meals a day and two snacks, but it was too much. It was too much. And you know how I know? Well, I got, I got fatter. It's as simple as that, man. Like I started looking at, at the beginning, you don't see it right away, but after a month of eating like that, right? And that's about how long we've been in quarantine now, man, I, I see it, man, right away. So the scale and the mirror, kind of your best friend there, you know, to keep you in check. So 
I'm looking at myself, I'm like, okay, I can still see my abs and all that, but I don't, I'm not like ripped, 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 like when I was at 8%. I love being at 8%, right? And um, so, so I'm like, okay, now I have to adjust my diet. So I only eat twice a day, only two main meals a day, and then two snacks, right? So, and that way it reduces your calorie intake. So you reduce calories because you're not moving as much anymore. And then from there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to, uh, to my eight, nine percent there because uh, I like the way I look, right? And you can still build muscle on a deficit, okay? Unless you hit your genetic limit in terms of muscle, right? But uh, most people haven't hit that limit. Uh, most men, for example, you can gain about uh, anywhere between 40 and 50 pounds of lean muscle mass your whole life. Like it takes 10 years of consistent effort of working out like a beast, you know? So don't worry about that. Uh, you could still gain muscle while you're in the deficit. You just have to work hard and uh, you know, the results will come. If you, if you eat too much, you're just gonna get fat. That's all it is, man. Like muscle doesn't just magically appear like that after three months, you know, you might gain like a pound of, of lean muscle mass. So in, in three months, you know, it's, it's at a rate of about four pounds, four or five pounds, uh, you know, per year, so to speak, right? Or even less, depending on where you're at in terms of your, how, how in, terms of, in terms of your genetic limit. So if your genetic limit is here and you're here, well, you're not gonna gain that much, man. It's, you know, the closer you get to your genetic limit, the, the, the less muscle, uh, lean muscle mass you're actually gonna gain, right? I mean, it's still doable, but at one point, if you actually do hit your gen genetic limit, then you gotta go on steroids <laughs> if you wanna gain more. So just to, to reiterate, okay, for men, I really like 15%, right? For, for all of you guys, 10%, uh, I mean, it, it would be great, right? But it's, it demands another type of, uh, another level of sacrifice, right? And adjustments to your lifestyle. So that might not actually be uh, what you care about, you know? Uh, but at 15, man, dude, the rock looks good, man. He has a ton of muscle, he's at 15%. No one's gonna call him fat and, uh, you know, like, no, he looks really good. So you see, you could achieve that physique. At 15% with some muscle mass on you, you look good, you look very good. All right, then at 10, dude, you're ripped, okay? You're ripped, you can see abs and you can see your, you know, like the, uh, the sides here, <clears throat> uh, uh, the obliques and everything. Like, man, you're, you know, you're good. You see the veins pop out of your biceps and, and all that, right? And it, anything under that, it's, it gets crazy and crazier, right? Uh, so for men, 15, for women, 20, you look, you look really good at 20, man. And um, that's it, so it's important because it's just dead weight. Fat is just that weight. Yeah, it's energy reserves, but dude, your body is like, it, it's, it's, it's a fat storing machine. It's just set up that way. So like before you actually hit it, get into that fat to use for energy, with all the food we have now, forget about it. So listen, it's just that weight. It's like, imagine you, you're running now, right? Okay, let's say I make you run uh, five kilometers. Okay, then I'll let you rest a bit. Now I slap on 20 pounds, like a, a, a vest, a 20 pound vest on your body and tell you, okay, Go go run another five k. You're gonna see that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty tough, man. Pretty hard, and that's what fat is. Fat is just dead weight. There's no performance benefit to it. You're just heavier, right? Uh, of course, you might be a little bit stronger um, when you're lifting weights and stuff like that. But that's really just because of uh, uh, you have more cushioning and you have more limited range of motion because you're just you know you have fat like here, here, here. You know, so your chest is bigger, fatter, so to speak. And but uh, okay, so. 15% for men, 20% uh, for, for women, okay? And make adjustments to your diet. You don't need as much food uh, right now. And I know that when we're home, we tend to get bored. So that's, that, that's, that's the danger, man, you know, when you get bored, right? So when you get bored, you start uh, eating, right? And of course, if you have stuff that's, uh, you know, that's available, like you bought a bunch of chips and all kinds of stuff, then, well, you know, it's, you know, ee, that's gonna be hard too, man. So uh, I suggest keeping busy, exercising, reading books, drink water, eat a lot of fiber, man. Eat a lot of fibers, a lot of vegetables. Eat a lot of vegetables, it's gonna stretch your stomach, it's gonna calm your ass down, right? <laughs> okay, guys, so that's it. I'm at 10%, 10, maybe even 11, so I'm not too happy about that. So I'm making adjustments. It's been a month that I've been uh, eating the same way, so to speak. I've been eating the same way. I've been eating healthy, but it doesn't matter if you eat healthy. You just eat too much, you still get, you're still gonna get fat if you, don't, uh, if you don't burn off those calories, man. So of course, um, that's what I'm doing now too. Um, what am I saying? You have to make adjustments to your diet, right? 
appropriate adjustments for the appropriate circumstances. And that's the smarter way uh, to go about it. Like, don't get fat. Try, you know, do your best, you know. And uh, you just got to stay busy, eat a lot of uh, protein and, and of course, um, uh, fiber. So a lot of vegetables. It's going to help with your appetite, like suppression, so to speak. Drink water and stay busy. Exercise, exercise, you know, because when you exercise, I mean, it just... It takes your mind off of that, right? So, um, of course, drink water, sleep more. You know, sleeping is going to help you with everything, with recovery, uh, performance. You know, you're going to you strengthen your immune system and all that. And also, when you're sleeping, you can't be eating. So, hey, like, yeah, it's a perfect time to really catch up on all that missing sleep that you guys probably had, you know, uh, myself included. But I'm actually not that bad. Even when I'm, I'm working and stuff like that, I, I make it a big priority to sleep. That's why... Uh, I still so so I stay healthy so I could heal so I could you know, still perform and stuff like that and I think a big part of how I look at this point right because I'm 41 and I know there's light here so you don't actually see my wrinkles but I do have some wrinkles here man like I didn't have this when I was the first wrinkle here on my forehead started when I was 30 years old so anyways but one, one thing that I think really saved my ass is that I love to sleep I'm a, I'm a sleeper right like I could eight hours uh, sleep take naps you know so sleeping is definitely beneficial right so if you sleep more now you'll have the benefit all those benefits right it's gonna help you I'm not saying it's gonna keep you young and unwrinkled but man everything is a whole right so uh, it definitely helps with your immune system your recovery you're gonna feel better you know and also like you're not you're not eating while you're sleeping right so that helps too and uh yeah man overall that's it for this video guys so i hope you guys enjoyed that if you have any questions uh leave them down below and of course if uh help me out like the video subscribe um of course share right sharing is caring helps with the youtube algorithm so you know i could become youtube famous one day and uh, spend more time making videos and you know working out and doing competition and stuff okay so and also click on the notification bell so you get notified when I make a video. I make a video at least once. I have a video coming out every day now, right? Because I'm in, uh, well, because we're in quarantine. What else do we have to do, right? So, all right, guys, have a good one. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.